Now that we've designed all of our layouts, we've exported them, let's launch Keynote. All right, so once, once we are in the Keynote interface, what we're gonna do is select the plus icon in the upper right hand corner. Once we've hit that plus icon, we are just gonna select choose a theme. Doesn't matter which theme, just go with the most basic um, theme that they have because we are going to revise it. So when we're in this theme, we're gonna select our three dot menu in the upper right hand corner and we're gonna select document setup and at the very bottom, you'll see two options, themes and slide size. We're gonna select slide size and then we're gonna hit custom and we're gonna update our measurements to match the measurements of our GoodNotes standard file. So it's gonna be 455 for the width by 588 for the height. And then we're gonna hit done. Once I'm done revising the slide layout, the slide size, I can hit done. And then what we want to do is empty um, and delete everything off of this first page. So I'm going to go into my actual slide here. I'm going to tap on it on the left hand side and I'm going to select edit slide layout. And then I'm just going to use my fingers to select slides and then I'll get a pop up and I can just hit delete to remove any of the elements that I don't want and then I can hit done. Once we've resized, what we'll wanna do is add in um, additional pages so that uh, we can place all of our images that we exported from Affinity Designer into this layout. So I'm gonna go into my file system um, just so that I can double check and see how many we have. So in my design, we have about 20 pages here. So I'm just gonna go back into my keynote presentation. I'm gonna tap the little plus icon on the lower left-hand side, and I'm just gonna add the same kind of title slide. And I'm gonna do this until I have 20 pages total. And then once I have 20 pages, we can begin to add our layout design on top of this. So I'm gonna go to page one, and then I'm gonna go to the upper right hand corner of Keynote, I'm gonna select that plus icon, and I'm gonna get this pop up, and what I wanna select is insert from, and then what we'll be able to do is see recents, or you can go into browse, and in this case, I want to go into, on my iPad, select Affinity Designer, click on my class project, and then I can go in and find the pages that I have in this layout. So I'm gonna select my cover page, and then I'm gonna repeat this process for the rest of these files. So I'm gonna go to page two, hit plus, select insert from, and then find my index page and just place these in order. And I'm gonna keep repeating this process until I add all of my pages in the order that I want. So the next one I'm gonna go, I'm gonna tap on slide three, hit the plus icon, select insert from, and then find my quote page. And then I'm gonna go to slide four, hit plus, insert from, and then I'm gonna select my daily layout. And then I'm gonna go on to slide five, hit the plus icon, insert from, and then I'm gonna select my weekly. And then I'm gonna continue to do this until all of my layouts have been added into my slides. Once I've placed all of the images, you'll see on the left-hand side, everything is all set. And what we'll wanna do is basically begin to add our links to our dailies, weeklies, and then all of our monthlies, and of course, um, the little home button for our index page. Um, so we'll add our first set of links here. Um, so what we'll wanna do, we'll go to this first page, our quote page. Um, there's no kind of quick link to this. Basically, when you're in your your file and good notes you can just swipe to get to this page but all of these little tabs will link you um, you'll be able to click on them and go directly to that page when you're in your note taking app so in order to create a link what we need to first do is add a shape um, to our layout so i'm going to hit this plus icon i'm going to select our shape options i'm going to go into our basic shapes and then i'm going to select the shape that i think best matches the shape that i currently have so i'm going to select this rounded rectangle 
and then I'm just gonna resize it. I'm gonna zoom into my layout here by just using my fingers to kind of zoom in um, by pushing my fingers out and then to zoom out by pulling my fingers in. And I'm just gonna resize this so that it is approximately the size that I need it to be. It doesn't matter what color it is right now, we're just gonna resize it so that it matches the overall size of the tabs that we've created. Right over the tab that I want it to cover. Once I've created that first one, what I can do is then go into my formatting option, that little paintbrush, and then I want it so that I have no fill. So I'm gonna select style and I'm gonna tap where it says fill and I'm going to select no fill and then I'll go back out of this and it will have no fill now, that way it'll be blank. And then what we wanna do is tap on that and then we'll tap on it again and you'll see this little pop-up come up and you'll wanna select link. And then what we'll want to do is link this to a specific slide. So we're going to select slide and then we'll want to link it to this to the third slide because that's the slide of our index page. And then we'll hit back. And then what I want to do now is copy this and then paste it so that we can add them to all of the rest of these. And then we can just update the links um, one by one. So once we've done that, I'm going to tap on it once again. I'm going to select copy. And then I'm gonna tap again and I'm gonna select paste. And then I'm just gonna drag this over to where I need it to be. If you're noticing you're having any type of issues utilizing your Apple Pencil in Keynote, um, what you can do is go into, you can go into your three dot menu and scroll down to Apple Pencil. And what you'll wanna do is select, select and scroll. And this will allow you to select and use your Apple Pencils to scroll and tap on things and move things around versus writing and like using the scribble effect. Um, all right, so once we've done that, we'll tap out of this and we can go back to adding our links. You'll wanna make sure that your links are sized appropriately. I'm gonna select this new one. I'm gonna click on copy, tap on my screen, select paste. And I'm gonna continue to do that until I have 15 of these link shapes created. Once I've added all of the links to the top, I'm gonna to rotate. I'm gonna resize um, this new one so that it's more of a vertical option because I'm gonna be adding the links to the sides now. And what's nice is that you only have to do this once and then you can copy all of these links and paste them onto the rest of your pages. Once I've added all of these, you'll see the little blue arrows popping up. And now what we'll wanna do is go in and update where these links take us. So we'll click on our daily and we'll click on the link pop up here and then we're gonna select link to slide and then we'll want to select slide four and then we'll go to the next link for our weekly. We'll tap on that, wait for the pop up, select link and then link to slide five and then tap out of that, click on the next one which is our habit tracker, select link and then link to slide six and then tap out of that click on our journal tab, select link, and then link to slide seven. And then our monthly start on slide eight. So we'll go back to that page and then select January. We'll update the link here again, link to slide eight, and then repeat that process for the rest of the months, linking it to the appropriate slide. Once I've added all my links, I'm realizing I have one extra month here. So I'm gonna select um, slide 20. I'm just gonna delete it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna delete it by holding my finger down on the slide. You'll get the slide options that will pop up and we're just gonna select delete and it'll delete that slide. All right, so now we have all of our links for our tabs created. What I wanna do now is take our Apple Pencil so we're gonna select all of these links here so that we can copy them and paste them onto the additional pages. We're gonna click on our screen here and in the pop-up, we are gonna click on select objects. 
And then what, we're, what we'll want to do is select multiple objects. So all we have to do is drag across those objects. And we want to make sure that just the links are selected and not the actual page. So I'm going to tap the actual page to deselect it. And then I'm going to select done. And then what I want to do is tap on copy in this pop up. And then we'll go to our next page. We'll tap on the slide and then we're going to select paste. And it, should and it should paste all of those links right where we need them. Don't worry, um, you're not going to see these blue arrows when you're using the file in something like GoodNotes. Copy and we'll just paste these into the additional layouts as we move forward now. So I'm going to select page four, which is our daily. I'm going to tap into the layout here and then I'm going to select paste and it'll paste everything in place where we need it. Go to the next page. Same thing, tap on the actual spread, select paste, and it'll paste it where you need it. And then you'll just wanna repeat this process for the rest of the pages in your layouts. So once we've pasted all of the side tabs and the top tabs, what we'll wanna do is go into our index page and we are going to add our quick links here as well. So we have these monthly links to the calendars and then our weekly, daily have a tracker journal pages. So what we'll do is the same kind of process. We are going to select this plus icon. We are going to select a shape. Um, if you are not on the basic shapes, you can just scroll across the top and select basic. And then I'm going to select a rectangle and I'm just going to resize that rectangle so that it will go over my months here. And then I'm going to go into my format options, a little paintbrush, and I'm going to tap where it says fill and I'm going to select no fill. And then I'm gonna tap out of that and I'm gonna tap on the actual outline here of that square that has no fill and I'm gonna select link. And then I wanna link to a slide and we know January starts on page eight. And then I'm gonna tap out of this and then I'm gonna click on this and then I'm gonna copy it. And then I'm gonna tap out of it and I'm gonna select paste again. And then I'm gonna move it to February and I'll resize as needed. And then I'll continue pasting until I have all the additional blank links that I need. I'll pull the rectangle over the month and then I'll just pull those corners in or the sides in in order to resize it so that it fits just around the actual word versus having it be much bigger than it needs to be. I'll continue this process for the templates as well. Once I've pasted all the links in, I can go in and manually update it. So I'm gonna select January, I'm gonna click on link, I'm gonna make sure I link to a slide and that'll be slide eight. I'll tap out of this, click on February, select link, link to a slide and that'll be slide nine. Go to March, click on it, select link, link slide to slide 10 or link to slide 10 click out of it and then continue that process to link all of the months and the same thing with the templates. Okay, now that we're done, we have all of our pages linked. You'll see our links pop up on all of these additional pages. Um, the last link I wanna add that we forgot to is this home page. Um, and this home page is essentially gonna take us right to, right to this little quote page. Um, so I'm gonna select the plus icon I'm going to select a square for my shape and then I'm gonna resize this so that it's approximately the same size as that little house icon that we've created. I'm gonna go into my format options here. I'm gonna tap on fill and I'm gonna select no fill and then I'm gonna tap out of this and then I'm gonna click on that rectangle. I'm gonna select link and then I'm going to link it to a slide and I'm gonna link it to slide two and then I'm gonna select that by tapping on it. And then in this pop-up, I'm gonna select copy, and then I'm just gonna paste this on the rest of the pages in my planner. Once I've added all my links, now what we can do is export this so that we can use it in GoodNotes. So to export our final file, what we'll wanna do is go to our three dot menu, our options menu, and we're gonna select export. And what we want to export this is as a PDF. 
So what we'll want to export our layout as is just a print background. So it's just the whatever's on the image and what's on the layers. And then we're going to select export and we're going to save it to our files or you can directly open in GoodNotes. But I like to save it in my files. And then I'm going to go to my Affinity Designer file. I'm going to select my class project. I'm also going to tap where it says Presentation 5 and rename it My Digital Planner. And then I'm going to make sure I select the folder I want it in and then I'm going to click on Save. And then we can jump into GoodNotes and look at how we can utilize this planner in the app.